Happy birthday, Junior. Here's your present. A really badly animated cooking tutorial. Wait. You know what we need? A kick-ass theme song. This video is dedicated to my friend Junior, who asked me some really simple recipes he can make himself, since he doesn't really know how to cook. This is one of the easiest and fastest recipes I have. It's something you can make yourself really fast, it's not a lot of trouble, and it tastes really good. The ingredients themselves are very easy to find and very cheap. You're going to need one or two cans of canned tuna. But make sure when you get it, I don't know if it's everywhere, but when I buy them at the store, there's two types and they almost look identical. One of them says in oil and the other one says in water. We use the one that says water because when we mix them all together, we drain the water out. But if you get the one with oil, you get this slimy substance. It's really gross. You're also going to need mayo. You're also going to need potatoes. And the last thing you're going to need are sweet whole kernels of corn. For those of you who shop at Walmart or Target or any kind of grocery store, when you buy the cans of corn kernels, make sure it says sweet whole kernels because more than once we have bought the other kind like cream of corn or hominy or some other stuff it's like not even close but the packages it looks almost identical so just make sure you read it because if you just glance at it and you're like oh it looks the same and you put it in your basket you're gonna have a bad time this recipe could honestly be made in about two minutes but we also add in potatoes and to cook them it takes about 10 minutes so if you have two medium sized potatoes like we usually buy, we put them in a plastic bag. That way when you microwave them, all the moisture gets kept in the bag and it doesn't dry out. While the potatoes are cooking, you open up the can of tuna and squeeze out all the water because you want it dry. Um, you're going to open up the cans of kernels and again squeeze out all the water. Add in as much mayo as you want, it's up to preference. And once the potatoes are done cooking, peel them and slice them into smaller bits and put them all together and you're gonna mix them and that's it you're pretty much done um, you can eat them with salt and crackers I know some of my friends do they put hot sauce and salt and crackers um, I eat them as a sandwich really it's really simple stuff